All right, guys, I'm gonna show the controller I just got, the Elite. I took, I think I pre-ordered it, or not pre-ordered, but ordered it in November, the end of October. I just got it probably like a week ago. Played around with it a couple times. So I have opened it, but I put it all back in there, almost how it was when I got it. Uh, I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it's definitely different. Like you're not used to using those fingers to use the paddles, but I'll open it up for you and show you what it looks like and what I think about the feel of it and all that good stuff. All right, this is a little difficult one-handed. Uh, so that's what it looks like when you first open it. It's got the uh, fancy case. It's actually pretty nice. I'd use this case for a lot of stuff. Good quality. Unzips. One handed. You open her up. It's got this little pouch, which nothing was in it. it must be for. I don't know. Whatever. Got the. Uh, it's actually kind of. It's actually pretty heavy. Like, I think it's heavier than uh, a normal Xbox controller. <laughs> but it comes just like that. The paddles were already on there. Pretty nice. Uh, then you got the little holders. The empty slots are where the paddles sit. And then the uh, uh, squeaky voice. And then, uh, what the hell are those? Just different sticks, I guess. I haven't even messed with those ones. Just slip right in there. I haven't even tried the different sticks out. I wonder if that would be better. Those are almost like PlayStation style. But they just uh, pull right off. It's actually not that that hard. They just pull right off. Slide the new ones on. So it's like magnetized, or at least it feels like it feels that way. Same thing with this. Just peel it off. Not too shabbly. It'd be cool if the buttons came off. You could change those out. That would be pretty sweet. Same thing with the. Uh, set this in here, hold it better. These just kind of peel up and out. Kind of has like a hook. Let's see if I can do this watching the camera. Probably have to look at that. How the fuck? There. Just slips right in. Those uh, switches are. The trigger pulls, I don't know if you can see on the camera, that's like short trigger pulls, this is, they go farther in, it's like double, just for quicker trigger movements. Of course battery, I already put the batteries in there, they came with some, but so far I like it, obviously it has the built-in headphone headset jack thing the other ones you have to get the stupid adapter for it's just a pad I don't think this comes out no nope. so that little holder in there is part of the case and this little sucker comes out And then this is where the batteries were, and this is also where the uh, nice braided. Let me get in there. 
See, I haven't even taken that apart. Charger cord or USB cord. But the batteries would have been right in that little sucker. I don't know if you can see that. And then you got the user manual, manuals, quick setup guide. And whatever this garbage is. Customizer. Oh, with a, I think the latest up, update with Xbox that was automatically uh, part of the update, so you shouldn't have to download it. Um, oh, actually, I should at the end of this video, I'll uh, uh, I'll put a a, uh, a clip of how to like where to find the Xbox app because it took me a minute because all the videos I looked up the app itself was uh, like the color of the app logo was like a different color than it is now so I actually had a hard time finding it even though it was right in front of my face so you may not have that issue you may be smarter than me uh, put this garbage back and then also, I, I actually like the box. Let me get that. There we go. It actually just slides right over since I didn't show opening the box. It's actually a tight fit. Anyways, it's a pretty cool box. I like it. There's the uh, what's included. Three sets of thumbsticks, D pads. Pretty sweet. I haven't used it on my PC yet, but evidently you just have to download that app on your PC and it'll work. I will show uh, some of the, <coughs> excuse me, the button configuring. It's actually pretty easy and pretty cool but uh it's 150 bucks um i think it was worth it especially if i get back into playing xbox more than the pc um but yeah that's about it i will uh show you guys where to find that xbox app and show you a little bit of the configuring oh yeah I just remembered this little switch I don't know if I can the one and two you can have two different uh, button layouts uh, basically ready to go so if you played two games a lot you can have fallout set as one and then your configure button layout for Call of Duty set for two and it, you don't have to go in and do anything you just flip it back and forth so it's pretty sweet so obviously your screen won't look like this you won't have stupid ass Black Ops 3 on there See, this is the Xbox accessory symbol I just pointed at the screen for some reason like you can see me anyways uh, I think the video I watched it was orange so I was looking for an orange symbol, but it's blue. So they must have changed that when they up did the last update and it was automatically added to the update. So you should have this if you have the the most current update. But anyways, uh let's see. You want to go to my games, my apps, or my games and apps. Uh these are all my games anyways um, so go to apps and it'll be right there click on that uh, it's already connected oh you can configure more than one I didn't know that or can you I don't know anyways so you can click on configure 
there is a tutorial, but it's actually not that hard to figure out. I guess they have preset configurations that you can play Halo and Gears of War. See so my uh, Call of Duty configuration. It's kind of how I have it laid out. I need to figure out. I was missing a button the last time I played Call of Duty. I couldn't, uh, oh, my kill streak rewards. I couldn't turn them on. I think it's because I changed my D pad to Y. Let's see if we can fix that. I'll show you. Um, button mapping. Okay, and this is a, a way to make it a lot faster and easier. Especially if you don't, can't really, you know what the buttons are by pushing them rather than like knowing what they are exactly. So like, let's see. So the top one says controller button, so that's actually button. And then map two, which is the new button. So what I want to do is, let's see here. Y, I hold Y down. Yeah, and then all I have to do is hold the other button down that you want it to go to. So I want Y to be Y again. Because Y, I don't know. Anyways, so since I don't have the D pad anymore, let's click on this. I'm pretty sure kill streaks are D pad right, right? So let's try that. So D pad right. I want to make uh, yeah. See why was there? Okay. So what I have. To, so let's try a hold down Y hold down the d-pad left uh, I did that backwards see what happened see where it shows y is d-pad left now so let's do d-pad left let's make it y there we go let's uh, how do I get rid of that anyways so yeah like that's a lot easier way than doing this. Trying to find the button. These are the, the paddles, anyways. And then figuring out what you want to change it to. And also, the if you can see where those on the, at the bottom of the controller, the the paddles that you can see, those will be the the ones closest that are longer, closest to the bottom of the controller, and then. The ones you can't see where it shows where I changed the left and right stick, those are would be the other two, obviously. And then uh, I don't know if you can change the back button or something. I've never tried that. Let's see if we can do that. Maybe I should change that to let's change that to D pad the right. Oh, let's go back up here. Can you change that? I don't think you can. Uh, I don't think so. That sucks. Anyways, when you click done, then you're done. Uh, you have different, like slot one is what I was talking about on the front of the controller. I never, what's this one? Oh, a little more uh, swap sticks. Those must just be like quick little left hand, right hand people kind of things. What's left stick mean? Oh wow, I didn't know that. I haven't even 
That will help me out quite a bit, actually. Huh. That'll definitely help my aim. I didn't even know they had this. This is actually pretty sweet. I have to mess around with that, but now you know. You want to go to the left stick, right stick. Fuck. Wrong button. See what? I think I'm just gonna leave the like my number one configuration to the game I play, and then number two to default. That way you can actually use the controller normally. Let's see what the triggers. Oh wow! Look at that. See, that's how. That's where I have my uh, those tr those switches on the back. Let me change it and watch how much farther you push it in. Yeah, see, that's pretty cool. Oh, and then you can mirror left and right together. That's sweet. Oh wow! That's pretty sweet. Let's get out of there before I screw something up. Vibration. What? Move the sliders. Oh wow. I don't know if you can hear that. How do you change the other one? Oh, you have to move the thing over. Left, left main? Oh, that gives you like a deep you can't hear that one. There's like a deep like rumble in the controller. It's not the that's a whole different rumble. That's the actual trigger vibrating. That's pretty cool. I like that. I have to tweak around with that a little bit. Maybe it'll help my Call of Duty game. But anyways, um hopefully this helps you decide whether you want one. I think it's worth it. The controller's heavier, but I don't think it's, like, uncomfortable. Um, yeah, I mean, if you have a, a better idea for a layout I should use to play Call of Duty or any first-person shooter, let me know. I just, I just think, naturally, I would want the jump to be on one of those new paddles. That way you're... Yeah, basically my idea was to keep your thumbs on the sticks at all times. You don't have to... Well, certain things you can take off. Like, if you're going to reload, you're obviously not going to need to shoot and run around. But while you're in, like, the middle of a gunfight, you don't want to be taking your finger off one of the sticks to be able to jump, which is obviously what the classic bumper jumpers ideas were and like Halo, but if you have better ideas for me to what would, might work, let me know, but this is what I'm using right now. I haven't played a whole lot with it, so it may change, but hopefully this helps you figure out whether you want one. I think it's worth it. Uh, so maybe, uh, maybe I'll start getting into like reviews and stuff to different things. I also got the Steam controller for Christmas. My girlfriend got it for me and the Steam Link. That I don't know. Let me you guys know if you want to. I, I think there's plenty of videos on that. But thanks for watching, and I'll uh, talk to you guys later.